Hi, in this video we'll create a launchpad component. This is how it looks in the final version, so make sure to visit Monterey.world to find out more. If you want to create it from scratch, then stay with me on this journey. All the assets that we're going to use in this video are stored in the Assets Images folder. A little reminder, in case you didn't follow the whole series. We have imported all the images in video 3 of this tutorial. If you just want to download them, a link is in the description. We'll start by adding the Launchpad app to the Dock Items Array. And we can already see a new icon between the Terminal and Safari icons. Then, in the Dock component, we'll modify the command handler in a way that will admit the Launchpad opened when, once when the user clicks on the Launchpad icon. Now let's open up the desktop component template. I want to improve the structure a little bit first. In the previous video we have added the menu component and the div with a class desktop screen dock. Let's just place it inside of a div with a class desktop screen menu. Nothing changes in the way the page is rendered but the HTML is a bit more clear. Then we add a listener to the launchpad open event. It will just set the property with the same name in the component class to true. The initial value of this property should be set to false. We are almost ready to start building the launchpad component now. We go to the shared UI module and import the sidebar module from PrimeNG. Then we go to the desktop template and add a P sidebar component from the newly imported module. We want to use the full screen option and the visible property is bound to the launchpad open property from the component class. Before we go to the browser and see it in action, we need to import the browser animations module first because the sidebar module depends on it. Now when we click on the launchpad icon, we see the white screen with a little close icon in the top right corner. We want to change the background to look as the one on the desktop, so we go to the SAS file and define it here. Now it looks better. And finally, we create our launchpad component. Export it from the index and import it into the applications module. After that, we place it inside a P sidebar component. When we open it in the browser, we can see it rendered. Launchpad works. Then, in the component class, we define an array of apps that will be rendered in the template. In the HTML file, we start with a div with a class of launchpad that has a child div with a class of item. The goal is to create a launchpad item for every app defined in the array. We use ng4 loop for this purpose. Let's just print out the H3 heading in order to make sure that everything works ok so far. Now instead of H3, we'll define an image for each app. We define a source, a width, and an alt attribute. Now it looks a lot better. Below the image, there is a span element responsible for displaying the app name. The next step is the styling of the launchpad component. But before we make it happen, let's define a font mixin so we can define the text properties faster. The font family is the same as the one in the base SAS file. And there are font size, font weight and color properties as well. 
please don't forget to add the wrap optional property for the flex mixin as you're going to need it in the next step. Then we jump into the launchpad SAS file and do a little styling here. We start by importing the helpers, then we define the rules for the root launchpad class. It is a flex with a width of 80% and to make it centered we use a margin with left and right set to auto. The item class is also a flex but with a direction of column. And then we define the font and we add a little padding. If we go back to the browser we can see our new launchpad component rendered. Hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.